a Pio No. Lieutenant, you have done well. These men are from the Nine, under the service of Captain Naval. You know our orders were that you give us the location of the assassins, Captain Berlena, and let us deal with them. And now with the death of Lord Hawks, 
I think the Watch's attention could have been better spent elsewhere. I believe the Nine and the Cloak Tower are the ones responsible for the Watch in Black Lake. This matter was something my lieutenant could handle on his own, and has. I hope you're not blaming us for Lord Hawk's death. As I recall, the order given to the Watch were to man the gates of Black Lake and solely act as couriers for the Nine and the Cloak Tower mages. We are, as always, ready and able to serve Neverwinter in any capacity requested. If you wish us to take a greater role in the Black Lake investigation, then we would be happy to assist. I doubt any order I give you would be followed to the letter, Captain. But I appreciate your gesture nonetheless. Good day, Captain. Lieutenant. As you no doubt heard, Lieutenant, while you were on your mission, there was another death in Black Lake, Lord Hawks. Lord Hawks died in the same manner as Lord Gentry. There was no forced entry and no wounds upon the body. He was struck dead, his body found this morning. You have done all I asked at the docks, and now I am giving you official permission to enter the Black Lake District. But do not interfere with the investigation there. I fear I have pushed the Nine as far as they will go in this matter. As for the docks, I suspect they will always give us trouble. But with your help, we have made great strides in restoring order to the area. And trade should improve as a result. Lord Nasher will be pleased. And I shall make sure to mention your name to him. Thank you for your efforts, Lieutenant. And fortune be with you on your travels in the Black Lake District. Thank you for your efforts, Lieutenant. And may fortune be with you on your travels in the Black Lake District.
So... Ah, well met, well met. Please forgive my rather rude questions at the door. I would never intentionally stand in the way of the city watch. Well, unless there was nowhere else left to stand, really. But that wouldn't happen unless there was a flood. I must confess, normally I'm rather, well, reclusive. Not that I dislike people, mind you. Quite the contrary. But lately, with all the troubles, a murderer on the loose and young nobles sneaking around up to who knows what, I've had to place wards around my home. Ah, oh, yes. Lately, I've seen figures sneaking around in the dark, and not that well-meaning sort of sneaking, either. It's obvious what they want. Why, my house, of course! As if I would ever sell it! Ridiculous! I'd sooner give up my left eye! Uh, but my right annoys me at times, so that would be an easier sell. In any event, Back when I first settled in Neverwinter, my humble abode was on the outskirts of Black Lake, bordering acres of untouched wilderness. Now, with Neverwinter being rebuilt, following all that plague nonsense, my property went from the periphery to being right on the main thoroughfare of the rich part of Neverwinter. All the nobility wants to live in Black Lake, but there's no more room, so lately they've been trying various ways to convince me to sell my land. First, they tried offering me ridiculous sums of gold. What do I need with more gold? I wish more people would give that question a little thought. Next, they tried making loud noises late at night. But I need little sleep. So the only thing they accomplished was scaring away the night birds that raid my garden, for which I thank them. Lately, they must be getting desperate, because most nights I can look out and see them watching me. Of course. 
Who else would sneak around my home? Well, present company excluded. Oh, that's right. You came here for a reason, yes? Great dear, what a tale. The moment you arrived, I knew I'd be interested in meeting you. Wish I'd known that when I first greeted you. Would have saved some time. You've certainly come to the right place. A while ago, I found another shard with properties similar to the ones you possess. I've done every possible test on the shard, but learned little. However, I've never had another shard to compare it against. If you'd like some answers, I'll gladly run some tests on your shards. I have just enough Quicksilver to do it. Ah, thank you. I'll be right back with this. My tests are complete. With another shard to use as a comparison, well, I learned quite a bit. Quite a lot, actually. It appears these shards contain latent magical energy, either caused by a strong enchantment from when they were whole or from their method of destruction. Furthermore, the shards resonate when they are brought together, increasing their magical energy output accordingly. These shards are pieces of a broken Githyanki silver sword. Are you familiar with the Githyanki? The Githyanki are a race of beings that dwell on the astral plane, led by Vlakith, the Lich Queen. Not a nice woman, I hear. Ages ago, the ancestors of the Githyanki were human and inhabited another plane of existence, where they were enslaved by the Illithids, or Mind Flayers. Then came Gith. Little is known about her outside the Githyanki, but she led the rebellion to free her people of the Illithids, and is considered the hero and founder of the Githyanki people. The Githyanki silver swords are forged with the special purpose of severing the silver cord that connects the form of an astrally projecting traveler to his or her material counterpart. They look like a regular Githyanki weapon until used in combat, at which point they turn into a column of flowing, shimmering liquid. Really quite amazing, I'm told. I believe the shards that you have found are pieces of one of these silver swords. I presume the Githyanki have come to Faerun to recover the shards. I've never heard of one being broken before. It could be that the Githyanki are as interested in how it was broken as they are in reclaiming the pieces. Common Githyanki would not possess a silver sword. These swords are rare and highly prized. They are given by the Lich Queen to only the greatest of Githyanki knights. When one of their silver swords falls into the hands of a non-Githyanki, they will go to extraordinary lengths to recover it. Often enough that there is a special group of Githyanki, the Sword Stalkers, whose sole purpose is to seek out any of the missing silver swords and punish the thieves who took them. Obviously, you'd first need more of the shards, wouldn't you? Between us, we have perhaps enough metal for a hairpin. And once enough had been gathered, well, I really don't know what the next step would be. A large hammer and hot coals, perhaps? I'm really not much of a blacksmith. I wish I knew more. Amon Jero was the real expert. He actually possessed a silver sword. Amon Jero? Oh, he was a court wizard of Neverwinter decades ago. I met him a few times. He was a nice fellow, a little absent-minded with a tendency to drift off the subject. Amjero reminded me of my old mentor, Master Growler. Had the largest collection of noisy, exotic birds. Made quite a racket, you know, chirping and squawking. Well, he's dead now. So I am not sure finding him will help you much. Ah, when word of Amun's death reached me, it was from a messenger who had heard it in passing. The nobles who ruled Neverwinter at the time must have assumed I would simply know if another scholar passed away, for they had not mentioned it to me. It was almost an afterthought. I learned later that it was partly due to what Amun's family wanted and what had been requested by the deceased to enter life quietly and to leave it the same way. It is sad in this age when the passing of a humble scholar, an indistinct court wizard, barely warrants a footnote in history. It makes me wonder, will anyone remember me when I'm gone? That's kind of you to say, but unlike Amon Jero, I will not be survived by any family. 
Ah, the Jero family was purported to have moved far away from Neverwinter following the war and Amon Jero's passing. Well, there is Jero's Haven. I suppose you could try looking there. It was a private retreat of some sort, where he went for solitude. I know it exists, but I don't know where. I suspect that the Neverwinter archives here in Black Lake would have its location. They typically keep noble family records in the secured archives. They don't allow just anyone to access them, though. I petitioned to be allowed to peruse the secured archives, but I was denied because... because, well, some silly misunderstanding regarding misplaced books that somehow ended up in my possession. Normally, you would have to petition for access, which could take several weeks. However, ask the guards at the archives to speak directly with archives administrator Kotnik. He has been known to let me in, quietly on occasion. Very well. Thank you for your visit and for letting me chat with you. Quite enlightening, really. Oh, and before I forget, you may take my shard. I've no use for it any longer. And who knows, you may gather more. Do be careful, though. I plan to raise my wards again after you have left to keep out those young nobles skulking about. Hope we haven't talked too long. Otherwise, they may have gathered their courage and attempted to sneak in. Don't both walk away from the- Sure, I can do that. 
damn your eyes! My steel will strike her! Need some special attention. Perhaps so. Glory Conforus!
No, sorry. I can't do that. Well, well, well. <laughs> Looks like this lock needs some special attention. Well, well, well. <laughs> Looks like this lock needs some special attention. Conforus. Apio no.
a Pio no. Glory con Poros. Let me lead the way. You follow behind. Yes, of course we have the location. Of Haven. Interesting. There is another Jero. Ziri will want her. I shall take care of the descendant. Wipe out all mention of the thief. Then rejoin the others. The Kalaksha! Kill him! Give me a moment. Chandra? The High Cliff girl with the flammable barn? We need to get to her and quick! The Gith Yankee are probably heading there right now! There she is! Capture her! Zieri wants her alive! What in the hells is going on? Things have turned out well for us, my brothers. The girl and the Kalakcha, both within our reach. Take one team and capture the girl alive. The rest of us will deal with this one. Attack! Apio no. Split up and search the rooms. It should not be difficult to find the girl in here. So, the Kalakja survived. Deal with him first. The girl can wait.
again. Don't come any closer. What? I'm not going anywhere. Why won't you all just leave me alone? Right there. What do you want with me? I don't even know. That's... that's my house. First my barn, now my house. This brings back memories. Looks like those things are trying to smoke us out. Well, it worked. Let's get out of here before this place collapses. So my barn and home are both burned to the ground. Any more of your help and all of Highcliff will be the next to go. Anyway, I think it's best we part ways now. You go your way, I'll go mine. Look, I barely know you, but what I do know is whenever you show up, trouble's not far behind. So I think it's best we say our farewells now. Thanks. Maybe I should have stuck with you after all. Honestly, I don't know. But I'm done running from you. For now. Look, we really need to get out of here before more of these creatures show up. Do you know of anywhere safe that we can talk? Neverwinter? The only safe place you can think of is in Neverwinter? I agree. And why are we bringing her to the sunken flagon? I don't want to have to watch her all the time. You don't have to watch me. I can take care of myself. You're the ones who need watching. I'm surprised all of Neverwinter hasn't burned down while you were there. Trust me, if I wanted to burn a place down, you'd know. But if you don't want to come with us, fine by me. <sighs> why not? My barn's gone, my house is gone. 
Are we leaving right away? Well now, I see you've brought someone new to my establishment. Now who is this young lady? Please lass, come in, come in. Make yourself at home. This here is the sunken flagon. I own it. You'll be safe here. Krabnar, play a tune or something. Make the lady feel welcome. Why, of course! I was just thinking. Look, we don't need a lecture on what passes through your head and out your mouth. Just play! Well, the innkeeper certainly runs hot and cold. All right. I agreed to let you bring me here. Now I want some answers. Not all of us wanted you here. Trust me. What happened at my farm? Who were those creatures? And why were they after me? Calm down? Calm down? You try being calm when your farm is attacked by monsters and burnt to the ground. What could I possibly know that would be important? I lived on that farm all my life. Did they want to learn how to milk cows? Amanjaro? He was my grandfather. Or my great-grandfather. Or was it my great-great-grandfather? I heard he was an eccentric but humble wizard. But he died a long time ago. What's he got to do with this whole mess? My mother told me about the Haven when I was a child. I thought it was just a tale she used to make me do my chores on time. She always threatened to lock me in there if I wasn't a good girl. I have no idea where it is. Knowing its location wouldn't help you much anyway. My mother said something about a path you have to walk to get to it. Like a series of challenges, but I don't remember what they are. She also said getting into the Haven requires a pint of fresh blood. And not just any blood will do. It has to be Jero blood. Wait, is that why you rescued me? So you could bleed me? Oh, I get it now. I was wondering why we'd brought her here. She was really starting to bother me. If you think I'm going to let you drag me into some dark dungeon I used to have nightmares about, think again. What? Oh, I mean, all right. Oh, well then, I'm glad you understand. That's a little more than I was expecting, actually. Look, I can barely think, let alone stand. I really need rest. We can talk about this tomorrow. Is she sleeping here too? Alarm! Alarm! Everyone, get out of bed and grab a weapon! The flagon's under attack! That last Chandra has been taken? How in the hells did those Githyanki get into the city? Does that matter? You'd best hurry if you want to get her back. Look, this one has a sprig of duskwood trapped in his boot. That means they came from deep within Luskin territory. And that's where they'd be returning to. Luskin? 
That's your territory, Bishop. Yes, but it's not my problem. I'm not going into Luskin territory for some farm girl, and certainly not with any kin of yours, Duncan. Is your whole family deaf, Duncan? Like I said, not my problem. You'll help them, Bishop, whether you like it or not. And what makes you think? Calling it due, are you, Duncan? Are you sure? A woman's life is at stake, Bishop. If that's what it takes to move you to do the right thing, then so be it. Fine. It will be worth it to be rid of you, and for such a small price, too. You're a fool, Duncan. So be it. All right. Pack your bags and grab your weapons. We're bound for the Luskin border. Follow my lead and don't try to be clever. If the Luskins catch us, they'll use us for target practice. Don't keep me waiting too long. I may just change my mind about helping you bring back the farmer girl. 